O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 17. Banking and Credit Cards. The following dialogue is related to Unit 8, Budgeting, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 8.8 .8, Banking in Canada 8.9 Credit Cards 8.10 Your Credit History In this dialogue, Ali arrives in Canada and visits a bank with his sponsor to open a bank account. His sponsor explains about finances and budgeting. The bank teller explains how to use the account with different methods such as automated banking machines, e-transfers, checks, and card machines at retail stores. They also talk about differences between debit cards and credit cards, as well as the importance of keeping a good credit history. Ali is walking down a street in Montreal, Canada with his sponsor. They are walking to the bank. So Ali, how are you settling in Canada? I am good. The temporary accommodation is decent and my roommate is very kind. It has just been two days since I arrived in Canada. I hope the jet lag will get better. That is good to know. The jet lag will get better in time. It is good you have a roommate you get along well with. I know you were worried that you would have to live alone as you came to Canada without any family. I know. I think it is nice to live with someone when I do not know the area. Exactly. You can help each other. He told me budgeting is important and I should open a bank account. He is quite helpful indeed. We are at the bank now. Let us go in. We have many things to do today. Ali and his sponsor walk into the bank. Ali and his sponsor walk up to a bank teller. Welcome to our bank. How can I help you today? Hello, we are here to open a bank account. This gentleman is new to Canada and I am helping him settle. Hello. Oh, hi, welcome to Canada. Thank you. The first item on our list of things to do today was to visit a bank. Great! Let us help you open your first Canadian bank account. There are two types of bank accounts, checking accounts and savings accounts. How are they different? Checking accounts are for paying expenses. You can order checks to pay rent and other bills. You can also withdraw the money from your account using your debit card and transfer money online. Savings accounts are for saving money for future expenses or goals. Banks may pay you interest on the amount of money you keep in these accounts. Which kind of account should I get? With us, you will get both. I see. I would like to open those accounts with your bank. Sure. Please fill out this application form and show me your identification documents. Okay. Ali shows the bank teller his identification documents, including his confirmation of permanent residence. That all looks in order. He then fills out the bank account application forms. Here you go. Thank you. Let me process your application and open your account. With your bank account, you will also get a debit card for purchases in stores and on the internet plus a checkbook to write checks. Okay. Let us start with a debit card first. This is your debit card. You will be asked to think of a personal identification number and enter it into this machine, then re-enter the number to confirm it. This number is a secret number. Do not share or show it to anyone. I will not. Okay. Please enter your personal identification number into this machine using the keypad. Good. Now re-enter the same numbers to confirm. Done. Perfect. Here is your debit card that is linked to your account. So, when I want to withdraw and deposit money into my account, I just come to this desk? You can, but you can also use the automated machines that we have right over there. Here, let me show you. The bank teller, Ali, 
and the sponsor walk over to an automated banking machine. This is an automated teller machine. Automated teller machine. Exactly. You can access this machine at any time of day, even when the bank is closed. Try inserting your new debit card into the machine and enter your personal identification number to withdraw money. Is this card only for depositing money into my account? You can use it to withdraw money too. You can also buy things using your debit card. In a store, you can pay by inserting your debit card into the store's point of sale terminal and entering your personal identification number. Or you can use the tap function of the card by placing your card at the top of the machine at the checkout. Ah, I understand. Great. Let us go back to the bank counter and we can order you a checkbook if you would like. They are useful for paying bills such as rent. All right. The bank teller, Ali, and the sponsor walk back to the bank teller's counter. Ali, do you know what a checkbook is? No. This is a checkbook. It is a small booklet of paper with your basic banking information on it. Make sure you do not lose your checkbook because it contains important information. You can fill out one of these checks for things like paying your rent or any bills you have. What is the difference between paying with a check and paying with a debit card like you mentioned before? Both are methods of payment that let people have a record of their withdrawal, unlike cash. I see, that is great. Debit cards are useful because the proof of payment is recorded automatically and electronically. You can use your debit card at most retailers and stores, but not everyone or every company has a card machine. This is when checks can be useful. If you receive a check from someone, you can deposit it at the bank. I see. Then the money is added to your account. Just like with your debit card, you want to be sure not to write checks for more money than you currently have in your bank account or the payment will not be processed. Yes, the bank will charge you a fee if you write a check and there is not enough money in your account to pay for the check. Be careful not to write checks for more money than you currently have in your checking account. If you try to use a debit card to pay for something and you do not have enough money in your account, the payment will not be processed, but the bank will not charge you a fee. It is always a good idea to make sure you have enough money in your account before you make any payment. Yes, of course. You can also look at your accounts online, so you can see how much money you have in each account anytime you want. That is convenient. With your online banking, you can receive money through direct deposits and pay bills. Can I transfer money to someone else online? Definitely. Great. Could you also explain how credit cards work? It would be very useful. Sure. There is another type of card called a credit card. Many people in Canada use credit cards for most of their purchases, from daily shopping in stores to buying things on the internet. To get a credit card, you will need to apply for one here at the bank or another financial institution that offers credit card services. And how is using a credit card different from a debit card? A credit card is very different. When you use a debit card, you are paying with money you already have. But when you use a credit card, you are borrowing money. The bank or company that issues the credit card charges interest on the amount you owe. If you miss a credit card payment, the bank or lending company will charge you a penalty fee. So you should use credit cards carefully. It is easy to go into debt when using credit cards. That is good to keep in mind. I never had a debit card or a credit card before. It seems convenient and safe to carry a card instead of money. I would not have to go to the automated banking machines to withdraw cash all the time or carry money with me. These cards are also useful for online shopping because some items are hard to find in stores. If you buy something online, the item will be shipped to your address. Let us talk about something called credit history. Okay. When you use credit, how well you repay is recorded in your credit history. In the future, when you apply for a loan, Banks will base their decision on your credit history. How do I make sure I have a good credit history? To make sure you have good credit history, make your payments in full and on time every month. 
Your first chance to build a good credit history is by making monthly payments on your immigration loan. Ah, yes. I remember learning about this. One year after I arrive, I will have to start paying off my immigration loan. Exactly. Another good way to build a good credit history is by paying your rent and utility bills on time every month. If you fall behind on your payments, this will be recorded in your credit history, and you could be evicted. Uh, evicted? Being evicted means getting a notice from your landlord to move out of your housing by a certain date. In that case, I will make sure to write down the dates of when I must pay all these bills. Now that you have an account, you can start putting money into it. <laughs> that is the plan. End of Dialogue Unit